guys, it's Gerales. Shader mods looks amazing. And uh, this is the default texture pack. And just look at this. It's like a whole new world. So, hello, I am Kiralis. Uh, since I started my Minecraft inspiration series, a lot of you have requested me, sheep, uh, to do a tutorial on how I install my shader mod pack. And you know, I'm a bit a noob at this, but I'm going to give it a go. And hopefully you guys can follow the easy steps I'm going to show you. And you're going to make this look as pretty as this. Just look at this. Like it transforms your world to a whole new level. Look into the sun. Look into the sun. <laughs> guys, you know what? Let's give it a go. All right, guys. I'm going to show you some easy steps and hopefully you will be able to follow. All right. But if you have a really bad computer, really crappy, like if you're playing on a calculator, do not use this because it will lag. It will lag a lot. So be prepared. You need to have a pretty decent computer to make this work. All right. Step one. We need to install some stuff. We need to download some stuff to begin with. And the first thing we need to download, I'm going to put some links in the description and hopefully you will be able to follow that as well. The magic launcher. So just go to the first link in the description and grab it down here from the download section. Yeah. Windows, Mac, Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever. I've already prepared, right? So I've already downloaded the Windows version. Next step is Optifine, which is really important. And I don't know. I'm using the Ultra version of, of Optifine and I find that the, the version which is called A8, 1.5.1 HDU A8, that works the best with the shader mod I'm using. Like, I might be totally completely wrong, but this, this is the one I'm using at least. So if you've seen the Minecraft Inspiration series, this is the one I'm using. So just clicky, clicky, clicky the download button. And what goes for the next one, you know? We need shader packs and we need the shader mod. The thing is, this is the ones I'm using. And wherever I googled and searched for them, I got all these fishy pages. Like really like strange pages and I couldn't find anything on the Minecraft forums. So I grabbed mine and uploaded them to my Mediafire uh, account. So you, don't, you guys don't have any like strange sites with a bunch of spam, viruses, whatnot. So I'm just, I'm just using my own media fire fire account right so download both of them there's a link in the description so the shader packs and the shader um, shaders mod mc 1.5.1 of ua8 1.4.5 all right trust me it's gonna work so when you have done that right we have done that downloaded all the four things as you can see i got the magic launcher i got optifine i got the shader packs and the shader mod First thing is go into your Minecraft account or I mean Minecraft folder, uh, which is usually like on C, the user, Keralis, app data, not Keralis, you know, I hopefully you named something different, app data, roaming and Minecraft. In the bin folder, there's your Minecraft jar file, right? Open that with WinRAR and WinRAR, you can just grab it as a free version, as you can see. I'm using the share or trial version of it and it still works. That's just being a pop up here. And the meta folder, which is here, right? That would needs to be deleted. Like in some cases, it's still gonna work, but just in case, delete that. So just delete that and close down everything again, right? Perfecto. Now, open your magic launcher. Bam, 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 bam. And here's the, the settings, you know, uh, for your account. There's my account, there's my password, which is dot, 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 that is my password, right? Go into setup. As you can see, now your Minecraft jar will be modified. And that's just because you deleted the meta in folder. Mm -hmm. So here on this add button, just press add. Let me go to my desktop. Bam. Now select the Optifine, which you downloaded and placed it. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be on desktop, yeah, right? You can place it in downloads folder, whatever. But just so you can find it, Optifine and select the shader mod, which is MC 1.5.1. Select them both and then just press open. Ba bam And since those are both for 1.5.1, as you can see, status is okay. Everything is working out fine. So if I just press okay here, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Log in. 
hopefully this will work right mojang all right so when you fire up minecraft like this you know what, i'm just gonna pause and see if this is actually working for me because sometimes fraps just derps about so be right back guys all right fraps is actually recording my minecraft so it's good so i'm just gonna open up the magic launcher login and this is the final step guys so when your minecraft is opened up click option and you should see this shader button click it bim, 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 bim. click the open shader packs folder and what this has done now is to create a folder inside of your minecraft folder which is called shader packs the final step take the file which you downloaded which is called shader packs open up with winrar just wait for this, close it down. Inside of this is something called Rudo Place Shader. And this is which I use for the Minecraft Inspiration series. You can use Selig Eater, whatever, but I just use this because I find it works. It's looking cool. Just drag and drop that into the Shader Pack folder and we are pretty much done, guys. Close everything down. As you can see, it has created this little thing here. So if it's not marked, just mark it, done. Let me just see my video settings. So brightness, UE scale. Oh, that was tiny. Normal. I'm just gonna maximize my window a bit. Not maximize, just make it a bit bigger. All right, moment of truth. Are you ready for this? Single player, create world. And I'm gonna name this Keralis. In creative, of course. Bam. Crossing my fingers. Crossing my fingers. Ta-da! Boys and girls, we have just installed the shader mod, which I'm using for the Minecraft Inspiration series, so you can see. But trust me, like, I am no pro, so for support, I'm not the guy to come to, because, you know, I know nothing. I just showed you how I did it, and it works for me, so hopefully it will work for you as well. But just look at this. This is amazing. I love it. This is the default texture pack. Let me just bump this up to the flow. If you're going to try out this texture pack, I put the link in the description as well, which is just a beautiful, like a modern, cartoonish texture pack. Pure epicness, right? How badass is this? So, you know, like, if you have a beastly computer, like a beast computer, uh, the shader mod pack will actually like transform your game to a whole new game because everything looks so damn pretty. It's just a whole new game. It's like a whole new world. Don't mind me, I'm just derping about. But nevertheless, people, if you found this useful, give it a comment, like, favorite, whatnot. Gonna love ya, but I mean, just look at this. We get sheep, we get cows. We get amazing water and we get shaders. Ta -da. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Good luck and see you out there. Bye bye.